Binance has faced intense scrutiny from regulators globally. Nadeem Anjawala was also arrested. The charges reportedly include conspiracy to commit money laundering. The arrest of Pavel Durov was driven by several key allegations. This situation became a focal point in U.S.-Nigeria diplomatic relations, has allowed criminal organizations to exploit the app for illicit purposes. He collapsed in court due to malaria and later developed pneumonia. Web3 has faced multiple controversial arrests in the last few years. While some have been long awaited and welcomed, some were resistant. But how do we equate the concept of justice in all these cases? with facts. So, let's have a close look at what exactly happened in these two recent cases. Why do they matter? In early 2024, a significant legal saga unfolded in Nigeria involving Tigran Gambarian, a compliance executive for Binance. Below is a timeline of events detailing the arrest and subsequent developments. February 2024, arrest of Tigran Gambarian. Nigerian authorities detained Tigran Gambarian, Binance's head of financial crime compliance, amid allegations of tax evasion and money laundering. He was held at Kuje Prison, where he faced serious health issues due to inadequate medical care. March 2024, escape of Nadim Anjawala. Alongside Gambarian, Nadim Anjawala, Binance's regional manager for Africa was also arrested, but managed to escape and leave Nigeria. May 2024, health deterioration. Reports emerged that Gambarian's health had significantly worsened during his detention. He collapsed in court due to malaria and later developed pneumonia. June 2024, withdrawal of tax charges. The Nigerian Federal Inland Revenue Service amended its charges, dropping the tax evasion accusations against Gambarian and Anjarwala. However, allegations of money laundering and providing unlicensed financial services remained against Binance as a company. September 2024, international diplomatic pressure. U.S. officials, including Secretary of State Antony Blinken, began advocating for Gambarian's release on humanitarian grounds due to his deteriorating health. This situation became a focal point in U.S.-Nigeria diplomatic relations. Now, let's discuss the reasons for arrest. Regulatory scrutiny. Nigerian authorities accused Binance of contributing to the devaluation of the Naira and failing to implement adequate anti-money laundering controls Tax evasion allegations. Initially, Gambarian faced tax evasion charges alongside Binance. The withdrawal of these charges indicated a shift in focus solely onto the exchange itself rather than its executives. Broader legal context. The case highlighted ongoing tensions between cryptocurrency platforms and regulatory bodies in Nigeria. Pavel Durov the CEO of Telegram, found himself embroiled in a significant legal controversy in August 2024 when he was arrested in France. Below is a detailed timeline of events surrounding his arrest and the reasons behind it. August 24, 2024. Arrival in France. Pavel Durov arrives at Le Bourget Airport in Paris on a private jet from Azerbaijan. August 25, 2024. Arrest? Durov is detained by French authorities under an arrest warrant. The warrant is linked to an ongoing investigation into allegations that Telegram has been used for various illegal activities, including drug trafficking. August 26 to 29, 2024. Detention and questioning. Durov spends four days in custody undergoing extensive questioning by investigators. During this time, French authorities examined the extent of Telegram's moderation practices and its role in facilitating criminal activities. August 29, 2024. Indictment and release on bail. 
Durov appears in court and is indicted on serious charges, including complicity in the distribution of child pornography, drug trafficking, and fraud. He is released on a 5 million euro bail, but must remain in France and report to police twice a week while the investigation continues. The arrest of Pavel Durov was driven by several key allegations. Failure to moderate content. Durov is accused of neglecting his responsibilities to adequately moderate illegal activities on the Telegram platform. Investigators claim that this lack of oversight has allowed criminal organizations to exploit the app for illicit purposes. Facilitation of criminal activities. The charges indicate that Telegram has been used as a tool for various illegal activities, including drug trafficking and the distribution of child sexual abuse materials. Non-cooperation with authorities. There are accusations against Durov and Telegram for not cooperating sufficiently with law enforcement agencies. Authorities believe that Telegram's robust privacy protections may be shielding criminal operations from scrutiny. Changpeng Zhao, commonly known as CZ, is the CEO of Binance, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges. His arrest occurred amid increasing scrutiny and legal challenges faced by Binance in various jurisdictions. March 2023. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SACC, files a lawsuit against Binance, alleging that the exchange operated an unregistered securities exchange and violated securities laws. June 2023. Reports emerge that CZ is under investigation by U.S. authorities for potential money laundering. October 5th, 2023. CZ is arrested in a coordinated effort by law enforcement agencies including the FBI, as part of an investigation into Binance's business practices. The charges reportedly include conspiracy to commit money laundering and operating an unlicensed money transmitting business. October 7th, 2023. CZ is released on bail after a brief detention. The terms of his release include restrictions on travel and requirements to report regularly to authorities. October 9th, 2023. CZ issues a public statement denying the allegations and expressing his commitment to cooperating with investigations. CZ's arrest stemmed from several key factors. Binance has faced intense scrutiny from regulators globally for allegedly facilitating transactions that may violate local laws. The SEC's lawsuit highlighted concerns over Binance operating as an unregistered securities exchange which contributed to regulatory actions against CZ and the company. The situation remains fluid as legal proceedings continue, with CZ asserting his innocence and pledging to address the allegations through proper channels. If we crunch all the high-profile arrests in crypto, it would exponentially affect your trust issues. There are people who got zero support and a lot of heat like Sam Bankman and Crypto Queen who are on the run and cases where people are divided on their stance because it's all in the gray area. So I will leave with this. Is Web3 vulnerable with multiple targets on the back or it a canvas for multiple greedy, high-risk-taking Bernie Madoff wannabes? Comments are open.